close down some don't of these crashes. I don't think that that's acceptable Cle from Tusla, though. Clearly. I think they have serious, serious questions to answer. Yeah. There was issues ra raised about these crash services, these particular chain, mm -hmm. in February of this year, last September, and there was obviously issues and red flags there because this lady had been in court in 2004 and 2007 mm -hmm. in relation to breaches. So that is just kind of nonsense, really, from Tusla. I don't believe it's clearly, uh, in the very least, a breach of health and safety. Have, have the cots pushed that close together? If there was a terrible tragedy in there, we could be talking about something very different here. So it's not really acceptable for Tussla to come out and say, sorry, we can't do it. That's in the book. And unfortunately, this is what we see time and time again in relation to government departments. And I think the minister needs to be very hard on Tussla here and they need to get their act together and get this sorted. Uh, the, you know, as, as soon that, as possible. That we need to look at in all of this is where exactly do we see the childcare and early years sector? Because mm. this whole thing of it being for profit is not going to work. You cannot put the care and what we want to see from the early years is nurturing children, caring for children, making them be and the absolute best. everyone agrees with that, but I suppose they're not run as charities either. Yeah. And I mean, that they are, a lot of the time, they want to make a profit. We're not rushing No, but here. this is the thing. This is the, the yeah. debate that we need to have here. It's actually a public service. I mean, we talk a lot in this country about trying to encourage women back to education and back into the workforce. We even talk about in the political world, we need more women. The reality is we need to have good quality, affordable, accessible childcare. Uh, and the vast majority of workers out there okay, provide that, but they need to be rewarded for that, as well as parents being helped with the Absolutely, cost of that. Absolutely, but I mean... Unfortunately, yeah. a problem with this government as well, that there doesn't seem to ever be any sort of responsibility or accountability. I mean, it was reported that 1.25 million of taxpayers' public money was given to that crash. Not I mean, I think not only should it be stopped, but I think that, that should have to be paid but, back, given what we saw cent, last night. Not but we need to start moving away from this for a profit model that's not working and it's never going to to work in relation to the early years. If you look at the education system and from primary school, secondary school, we have a different type of model and a different system. We need to see that type of approach being taken in relation parents to... parents rely on the money on the early scheme allowances they get That's annually point. for two years to enable them to send their children to crashes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is we need to move away from what we currently have, where the costs are still extremely high, even when you get a small subsidy. And yeah. I acknowledge that there has been, in fairness, some improvements made, but we need to move away from like a subsidy system yeah. whereby yeah. it's, it's well, publicly funded.